Well, hey there. This week we're taking the sketch session onto the road or into the mountains. And here's me drawing some squirrels in a very shaky manner. But you know, even though this is a little bit blurry and not the best quality, I just want to encourage you to pull out your pens and your paper today and draw something that makes you happy. So for me, critters make me happy. So here you can see me draw them with some pen and ink. So the first version is in a dipping pen with walnut ink technique and you can see that I first did uh, underdrawing in graphite just so I have my proportions laid in so I know where I'm going and so I don't go completely without my guardrails and generally I begin with my outer contours and then work my way towards some inner plane changes but when I'm sketching just on location to have fun I, I draw very intuitively. I sometimes um, go right for the furry texture and other times I get into the details. So there's not that much of a rhyme or reason to me, but if you wanna to get to a place where you can just sketch effortlessly, what you want to do is you want to really get good at capturing your shapes and understanding where you need to um, imply shading in order to get the form across. So you'll see me apply shading in areas where there are plane changes, where the surface orientation changes from one direction to another. And those plane changes, they usually happen whenever there's an anatomical shift from one muscle group to another muscle group or from one bony area to another bony area. And there is a difference between my cross contour shading that implies form and the shading that I do right there that implies the different values. So darker local value against a lighter local value gets just a straight hatch, whereas form gets implied with a cross contour hatch. So a hatch that goes across and over the form. So you see that leg that's kind of the front leg that's behind. Um, that gets a straight hatch to imply it's in shadow. I'm pushing that back with a straight hatch. Whereas on the front leg, like the front leg that's closer to us, there I did some cross contour hatching, not all across around the whole arm, but in little segmentations to imply the roundness. So here you see me go for my second sketch. Again, um, first I begin with my under drawing and I like to use a very hard pencil for that. This is just an H graphite pencil, getting my shapes mapped out, getting my features laid in, just so I know where I'm going later on with the ink. And this is a Sumo ink liner. And I love it because it allows for a great variation between thicker, more emphasized lines and very thin, super delicate lines. So I can um, ease off with a pressure and get some very thin marks, which is great for the more detailed plane changes around the eye and where the muzzle is. And then I can press thicker and just become a bit more gestural. Later on, when I get to the tail, you'll see me do that. And just like with a dipping pen, I follow the same technique. I lay in my contours, my outer contours. Then I start to venture into the inside of the shapes and forms. And I go cross contour in areas I want to imply the roundness. And I go straight hatch in areas where I'm trying to imply a darker value. And that darker value just in terms of let me push this visually back so it sits back more passively. Anytime you bring more form to something, it usually pops forward more. So you decide what you need. If you need something to come forward, bring some form into it. Go across contour. If you need something to sit back and look darker, just go a simple straight hatch and it will get that darker value. If you're wondering about how to imply fur, little quick tip, always on the edges of your shapes, whether it's the outer shape, like the silhouette, or whether it's a shadow edge, like a shadow shape edge. On those edges, if you kind of 
implies a tufty, furry quality. That's when you can translate that you're dealing with fur and not just a plastic squirrel. So I'm not putting hairs everywhere, as you can see, just in those edge areas. That's where I imply the texture. We did a great sketch session on that, I think with the foxes. So if you're interested in more on that, check out the fox sketch session video. So I hope this was fun for you. I know it's super gritty and either way, I hope it inspires you to draw some today. See you next time.